12 Best Places to Live in Wales We have taken our time to access all, yes we mean it, all cities, towns and villages in Wales for moments like this. Out of them all, we have come up with the 12 best places to live in Wales in this video. The places mentioned here have certain unique characteristics that stand them out among all the other places in the region. If you carefully consider the most credible rankings about Wales, you would find these places among the most loved towns in Wales. You will find most of them even on our own list of the best towns to live in Wales. We encourage you to see those videos to complement whatever you are going to see here. 12. Blenavon, Torfen. A good place to search for accommodation is Blenavon, a town and community in Torfen County. The home of award-winning mystery writer Dorothy Simpson, several famous rugby players and Olympic athletes is high on a hillside on the Afon Luid source. It's one of the Welsh best places to live. Thanks to the efforts being made by many thriving community groups who have served to improve the town, one of them is future Blenavon, whose efforts have led to the creation of a community garden down the town. In 2000, parts of Blenavon were inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. The place occupying 33 square kilometres has several attractions, events and dance performances. 11. Brecon, Powys we are sure those who know Wales too well would be disappointed if Brecon, just like Kidwelly, Abergavenny, Cardigan, Barmouth and Tenby is missing on this list. This town in and community in Carmarthenshire in southwest Wales, alongside its peers, has featured in many good rankings and its submission here can't be explained. For instance, they have been listed among the best towns to live in Wales, the best small towns to live in Wales, the most loved towns in Wales and even the best small towns to live in Britain. Whatever has given it such good reckonings must find a slot for it among the best places to live in Wales. 10. St David's St David's is likely the only city found here. Also known as St David's and the Cathedral Close or St David's, the community is the smallest geographical area granted city status in the UK by population and by urban area. The city, lying on the River Allan, is the final resting place of St David, Wales' patron saint. It was obviously named after him. The link to this patron is a powerful reason why things are going well for this one of the small cities. 9. Abergavenny, Monmouthshire Just like Brecon and other places mentioned earlier, Abergavenny, a market town and community in Monmouthshire, well deserves its slot here. What we can't be sure of is whether you would want the town in this ninth position. OK, you're free to let us know if it deserves a higher ranking. In any case, we can all agree that the town approximately 10 kilometres from the border with England has beautiful scenery, locally delicious food and appealing ecotourism. 8. Landudno, Conwy Landudno is another seaside resort, town and community. Located in Conwy County Borough, it's on the Crudin Peninsula protruding into the Irish Sea. This is a town of battlements, boats and birds with an atmospheric seaside town having charm and rebellion in buckets and spades. This historic town with its 21 towers, brooding castle and crumbling walls is somewhat magical as you'd observe whether you're gazing at distant peaks, watching oyster catchers foraging on the mudflats or just strolling. There's a breathtaking view in every direction. The waterfront terrace of the Liverpool Arms and the largest beer garden in Wales are just two examples. 7. Cardigan, Seredigion Cardigan has featured in places where Brecon, Kidwelly, Abergavenny, Barmouth and Tenby have been ranked. This town and a community in the county of Seredigion lies on the tidal reach of the river Taifi. This is the point where Seredigion meets Pembrokeshire. It used to be the county town of the then historic county of Cardiganshire. However, it's now the second largest town in Seredigion. Thanks to the editor of the Sunday Times, Helen Davis, the world's attention has been drawn to this town when the journal ranked it high in Wales. If you love quality coffee, a home close to the sea to breathe in sweet, fresh and clean air and see the stars in the night sky, Cardigan is a perfect place for you. 6. Barmouth, Gwynedd Barmouth is yet another seaside town and community. It's in the county of Gwynedd and lies on the Afon Maudach and Cardigan Bay estuary. This town has one of the best setups of whatever can be described as a holiday resort in the UK. It has the best examples of the best beaches in Britain. It has exceptional and rare views of the Snowdonia National Park. This place is deeply loved by Welsh residents and tourists. 5. Tenby, Pembrokeshire 
Tenby is a seaside town in Pembrokeshire that is walled around. We still refer to what we have earlier said about this town alongside its piers. Located on the western side of Carmarthen Bay, Tenby is worth considering for a lover of beaches. The town bursts quirky antique shops on its sandy beaches, which are among the most incredible in the UK, with vintage and craft outlets and coffee houses. This notable tourist attraction has raised artists, writers and actors. That's an indication of its fostering and featuring a strong community for the arts. 4. Kidwelly, Carmarthenshire Kidwelly, the town with the oldest canal in Wales, is strongly recommended for anyone seeking accommodation in Wales. Though the canal, which was originally dug to transport coal out of the town, is no longer in use, it's now a thriving wildlife habitat. You can take a series of walks around Kidwelly to beautiful views of its history and wildlife. Kidwelly Castle, Marsh Water Ponds, Kidwelly Quay, Marsh Ponds Petting Zoo, Kidwelly Quay Walk, Beating the Bounds and Kidwelly Industrial Museum are some of what residents of this town enjoy regularly. 3. Ruthin, Denbyshire Ruthin, the market town in Denbyshire, is also a community in the south of the Vale of Clwyd. It's a very good place to live in Wales. You're well covered in this historic town for any legal enjoyment, even as a coffee lover. This is a town stuffed with history, at least as borne witness to by its ruined castle. St Peter's Square lying on a hill and a jumble of old buildings tumbling down from the Millage Market Square. The community leadership is leaving no stone unturned to ensure that young people stay in the town, even after schooling outside the area. 2. Penarth, Vale of Glamorgan Penarth is a happy and healthy community in the Vale of Glamorgan. It's a smart seaside suburb about four miles south of Cardiff city centre. It is also on the north shore of the Severn estuary. A Penarth address remains one of the best in Wales. Residents of this town are exposed to the good things of life. They have independent shops in an environment with the air bracingly salty. Living in this town, you have enviable homes to live in, especially in Marine Parade. Penarth, with its backdrop of dockside gas holders, rocky beach, muddy cliffs and racing tide, is unmistakably unique on its own. The town's greatest delights are in the open air, on the water at a sailing club, or just on foot. 1. Landetlo, Carmarthenshire It's now time to talk about Landetlo, another very nice place. It has featured as one of the most loved towns in Wales. Now we're presenting it as one of the 12 best places to live in Wales. It is actually topping the list and this is provable. The town that is secluded on the banks of the Tawi River, one of the longest rivers in Wales, is entirely within its territory. The benefit of this river to the town makes it a comfortable place to live. You also have to consider the proximity of this town in Carmarthenshire, close to the A483 on the 19th century stone bridge. This also makes commuting to and from the town adjacent to the westernmost point of the Brecon's National Park easier. The town is filled with antique shops, art galleries, pubs and restaurants. Though this town is remote, it is also colourful and luxurious. Now, how do you feel about this listing? As usual, we know you agree with them. Please let us have your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.